Frosex OS120 Schmidt hammer is very similar in operation to a conventional Schmidt hammer, but is specific to applications of low strength, between 1 to 5 MPA. There's also an alternative version of this model, which is used for mortar testing, testing either in situ mortar in between the bricks or on mortar samples. Operation of the hammer is very similar to a conventional Schmidt hammer, and as with all Schmidt hammers, surface preparation is vital and should be smoothed if rough. Looking at the operation of the OS120, it's very similar to a conventional original Schmidt hammer. The hammer is cocked and struck. Now the striking surface is a very broad face, which is what allows for the very low strength testing range. The critical thing is that this hole is pressed firmly and flatly into the concrete. The hammer is then cocked and released. And I'm pushing firmly to ensure that solid contact. Like with any Schmidt hammer test, you want to ensure that you move the hammer between strikes. So this one was about a 135 on the scale. I'll take a second strike, pushing firmly, striking about a 150. And it'll be the average of these results that will form our final test result. About 147, sorry, 137. Then I'll complete the rest of the impacts. This is our test. We then need to compare the rebound value to a conversion curve. I'm showing two on screen. The one on the left is a conversion curve from a cube sample, and the one on the right is a conversion curve from a cylinder sample. It's important to distinguish between the two, and this goes for all Schmidt hammer conversion curves, because cube samples crush at a higher compressive strength test than samples shaped like a cylinder. And we can also see that the range of R values are much lower than the results I was receiving on my test block. That's because that was a fully cured test block, and in this case, we actually would be testing very low strength concrete, so possibly only just setting concrete. So I'm going to first lay a line on the 30R mark, which would be the average of results of testing. And then I need to choose a horizontal or vertical test. And this is because gravity does have an effect. So if you're testing on a sample, it's very important to select the right line on your conversion curve as well. So we extend the lines onto the left hand side, getting a value of around 2.4 MPA. And we can see the 0.1 MPA difference of the orientation. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you'd like to see more of the same videos, please like, share and subscribe on YouTube or come and visit us on our LinkedIn page or our website at pcte.com.au. Thank you very much.